Well, you're uh, somebody, one of the most uh, respected, uh, famous scientists in the world, sitting on a farm, gazing up at the stars. So you seem like an appropriate person to ask the completely inappropriate question of, what do you think is the meaning of it all? What's the meaning of life? That's an excellent question. And if we ever find uh, an alien that we can converse with, uh, I would like to answer this. I, I would like to ask for an answer to this question because... Um, would they have I, a different opinion, you think? Uh, well, they might be wiser because they lived around for a, <laughs> la- a while, but uh, I'm afraid they will, they will be silent. I, I'm afraid they will not have a good answer. And I think... Uh, it's it's the process that you should get uh, satisfied by the process of learning you should enjoy okay so it's not so much that there is a meaning i in fact there is as far as i can tell things just exist you know and, uh, and it's uh, i think it's inappropriate for us to assign a meaning for our existence cuz you know, we as a civilization, we will eventually perish. You know, and uh, nothing will be. You know, just another planet on which life died. You know, and if you th- look at the big scheme of things, who cares? Yeah, like who cares? And uh, how can we assign significance to what we are doing? You know, so if you say the meaning of life is this, well, it will not be around in a billion years. So what? You know, it, it cannot be the meaning of life because life. You know, nothing will be around. So I think we should just enjoy the process. And, uh, you know, it's like many other things in life. You enjoy f- good food, okay? Yeah. And you can enjoy learning. Why? Because it makes you uh, appreciate better, where you know, the environment that you live in. And sometimes people think religion, for example, is in conflict with science. Spirituality, con- in conflict. That's not true. Uh, if you see a watch and uh, you look at it from the outside, you know, you might say, oh, that's interesting. But then if you start to open it up and learn about how it works, you appreciate it more. So science is the way to learn about how the world works. And it's not in conflict to this, the meaning that you assign to all of this, but it helps you appreciate the world better. So in fact, I would think that a religious person should Promote science because it gives you a better appreciation of what's around you. You know, it's like, you know, if you buy uh, in in a grocery, you buy something, you know, a a bunch of uh, fruits uh, that are packed together and you can't see from the outside exactly what kind of fruits are inside. But if you open it up and study, you appreciate better the merchandise that you get, right? So you pay the same amount of money, but at least you know what's inside. So... Why don't we figure out what the world is about? You know, what the universe contains, what is the dark matter? It will help us appreciate, you know, the bigger picture. And then you can assign your own flavor to what it means, you know. Avi, I think I'm truly grateful that a person like you exists at the center of the scientific community, gives me faith and hope about this uh this big journey that we call science. So uh, thank you for writing the book you wrote recently. You have uh, many uh, other books and articles that I think people should definitely read. And thank you for wasting all this time with me. It was truly an honor. Thank you so much. It was not a waste at all. And thank you for having me. I learned a lot from your questions and your remarks. Thank you. Thank you.